Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I completely filled my makeup caddy for vacation. Now, I'm actually filming this video before I go on vacation because I wanted y'all to get the best look at how I organize this. And what better way to get that view than the actual way I have packed it to leave for vacation. So we will be leaving in two days and I already have this completely filled up. So what I'm gonna do for the next two days is just use these items out of here and place them back where you see them right now. Now, I have tried so many different makeup organizers in the past. Now, last year when we went on vacation, we're doing the same type of vacation this year. We are going to the beach for a week. Last year, I carried a gigantic Vera Bradley Grand Traveler with several different pouches and organizers within that Traveler, within that Grand Traveler bag. But we're trying to downsize a little bit so we're not taking as much stuff because it was a lot. We drive halfway the first day and then when we come home, we drive halfway and then we drive the rest of the way on the second day. So getting those things in and out of a vehicle was not fun. So I told my husband I was gonna try to downsize everything that I took. And the first item was that gigantic beauty bag that I call it with everything in it. So I was looking around a couple months ago and I thought, what can I purchase that's going to be able to hold everything that I wanna take on vacation but is not gonna be too much and it's going to be easy to carry then i started looking at some craft organizers this is the brand everything mary and it is actually a paper craft organizer this i want to say is called the deluxe paper craft organizer and when i found this, I found it on Amazon. So as soon as I found it on Amazon, I started looking at other places that sold them. Walmart sells them. Scrapbook.com sells them. There are many places that sell this brand, but Amazon had this one for the best price. Now you can get it in different prints and things as well. This one normally runs about 30, I was seeing in most stores, and I got it for 17, I think it was 99 on Amazon with free shipping. So I could not pass that up for all of the storage and organization that I got in this product. Every single side has got some kind of organization. So you have, let me start here. So you've got on one side, you have a little pocket with a Velcro flap and just two little open pockets. You have a small one and then a larger one. Then on another side, and I apologize if you can hear the lawn mower. My husband is outside mowing and he decided to mow the backyard when I was filming this video. So I apologize if you can hear that. Then you've got this gigantic side pocket here that has a zipper closure. And y'all, I am really big on good zippers and the zippers are great on this, or I guess you'd say the one zipper. Then on the other side, you have two pockets that are open. They do not close. And I didn't notice this too. You've got this right here. You've got one large compartment here, and then you've got two in front of it. And then this is the only part that I did not use of this organizer because I could not figure out what to use it for because I had everything I needed already in this organizer or caddy. It has two magnetic little, two little magnetic closures and it's got these little things you can slide in here. And then you've got this little flap in the front. So I have not determined, I don't think, think I will use those for vacation because everything I already need is inside of here. And then you've got the gigantic divided out top. Now on one side here you've got two compartments. The middle is one long compartment and it does, I notice, have little, it's almost like makeup brush little elastic bands here that you can put all of your makeup brushes on or if you decide to use it for paper crafting your paint brushes or anything like that and then you have two compartments over here so there's two one large one and then two on the other side 
So I am going to walk you through how I have this entire thing organized. Now before I get started, I did write down a few things that you are not going to notice and I will tell you where those are located. The first thing you are not going to notice is my medication. Now, I was going to put my medication in here. I was actually going to put it in this side zipper compartment. And then I thought, no, I'm not because I'm going to need that throughout the day. So I'm actually going to put my medication. And I have one of those little daily organizers that's divided out by days. I carry two of those. That will go in my purse with me. So I have my medication at all time because I take it throughout the day. So that you will not see in here. You will not see my toothpaste because my husband and I share toothpaste and he always carries the toothpaste in his bag. And then you will not see my blow dryer and my flat iron because both of those will be packed in my large rolling luggage. Okay, so let's get started with the side pockets and zippered compartments first. Now the first thing, you know, I told you there was nothing in this pocket. So working our way around, this whole side here, I have my makeup brushes, and this is my Real Techniques little blender that I have. I've just shoved it in there, so all of the makeup brushes that I have are in this pocket, these two pockets right here. I did not use the big one here. I didn't realize it was even in there. So, all I have on that side are makeup brushes. Now, this side compartment right here, is where I have a variety of things. The first thing that I have are my eyeglasses. And I usually don't wear these during the day unless I've got really bad allergies or my contacts are just drying out my eyes. So that's why I have them in here. I always just wear them at nighttime right before bed. And then everything else that's in here is all hair things. So I've got bobby pins because my daughter, if she puts her hair up, she likes to have bobby pins to have all of her little loose hairs put up. I've got this headband in case I want to push my hair back if it gets in my face. I've got three little decorative, decorative, I've got three little different prints of headbands that I wear sometimes during the day. Now these are all the Savvy Coconut headbands. I'll make sure to put links to everything below. This one, and I don't know if these prints are still available. They're really nice and they're not heavy. They're stretchy. I've washed them. They wash very well. And I have this one. So I have three different styles and colors of headbands. Then I have a whole slew of hair ties because my daughter and I both wear the hair ties. And then last but not least, I have barrettes because after I do my hair, blow dry and flatten iron my hair, if I'm going to put my makeup on, I always pin my hair back on the sides so that my hair does not get in my face when I'm putting my makeup on. So that is all that's contained within this one zippered pocket on the side. Now we're going to move to the last little side pocket here. Now this is the one that has the little Velcro closure and I have extra contacts in here. And then I will also have in here just a plain case because I will be wearing the contacts that I'm supposed to wear on Friday. So these are my extras and I'll have an empty one for to put the contacts in that I'm wearing right now. Always carry tweezers because you never know when you're going to need those. And then I have some nail clippers. Same thing with that. I cannot stand to have little hang nails. So I have that in there. So that is all for that little Velcro pocket. Then here we have, this is my, oh, what do they call these? Oh, is it on here? I forgot what these are called. But I got this off of Amazon to get all of the like peach fuzz off my face. I will put the, the name of this at the top. Once I look it up and I remember what it's called, I forgot it's got a different type of name. And then I have two razors. They're two disposable. And yes, they are men's disposable razors because I have learned, or for me, the men's razors work better than the women's. I don't know, but I have noticed that. And I've noticed they're a little bit cheaper as well. Now we are to the main area of this organizer. So I'm going to take you through each section at a time. So I'm going to do the first section here. 
in this far left side here, I have contact solution. This is my favorite. I use the Equate multi-purpose solution and it's compared to the OptiFree Replenish. Renew just does not work for me. I then I have this Equate Moisture Care Cocoa Divine. This is comparable to the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Lotion. And this is what I am going to use as body lotion when I go. I like to get the Equate version of the name brands because it allows me to save a little bit of money. Then the next two compartments here, I have my Purity Made Simple that I use every single evening on my face to take, off my, to take off my makeup. I've mentioned this product many, many times, and it is a new bottle because I was about out of that. And y'all, you will notice several of these, like all three of these products are new products because I ran out right before vacation. So I went ahead and purchased the new ones and the new ones went in here and I'm still using the old ones in my bathroom. Then after I use my Purity, I use two other products. This is one of them. It is the Simple Micellar Water. So I use that. And then I, I decided to put this in here. I have not wore this and I cannot tell you how long, but I did want to take some fragrance for vacation. It is the Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Heavenly Angel Mist. This is one of my favorites. I just have not wore it in a while, but it's got a plastic bottle. That's why I decided to take this instead of my Philosophy Amazing Grace because I did not want the bottle to break. So that's why I chose this one. I didn't want my Philosophy Amazing Grace to break since it is glass. So that's why I chose the plastic one. So y'all, that is it for this first side. Now we are going to go to my middle section here, which is one gigantic section. And before I get to what is inside, I'll show you what I have clipped on the side. I have two clippies clipped to the side because I use those when I am flat ironing my hair to kind of pin a little bit of my hair up in the back because my hair is so thick, I have to flat iron my hair in sections. So that's why I have those in there. Now, the first thing that you will see in here, I'm going to pull this up so you can see the actual products. First thing that I have, the first thing that I have is eyeshadow palettes. And y'all, these are the only two eyeshadow palettes that I have. My makeup, you're going to see in just a minute, I don't have a lot of makeup, which I am happy to say. I, once I find something that I like, I normally stick to it. So I've mentioned this one before, the Tartlet in Bloom is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. So I've got that one in there and my Urban Decay Naked Smoky. So these are the two eyeshadow palettes that I am taking. Then I have my Bagalini little organizer here. I've got several of these. My daughter, I think, is taking the other two. There's three that came in this set. I don't even know if they're still available. If they are, I'll put a link below. I got these off of e-bags, I want to say like six years ago. So inside of this, I have my Q-tips and I have some little cotton rounds. I use these with my simple micellar water to run over my face after I cleanse my face. Then I have, and y'all, this is not my favorite product, but I cannot determine what product I want to use, but this is just the one that I have been using. It's the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse, and this is for when I want to wash my hair and I don't want to flat iron it, I can do the beachy waves type of thing. If you recommend some kind of curl enhancer mousse or kind of sculpting spray or something, please leave that in the comments below because I cannot find one that I really, really like. Then of course, Static Guard for the frizziness in my hair and for all of the static that I get. I've talked about that many times. And then one of the products that y'all heard me talk about in my June favorites is the Hask Argon Oil repairing shampoo and conditioner. So this is the shampoo and conditioner that I have been using for the past two months and I absolutely love it, you guys. I will tell you this too. I got up the other morning and normally when I get up in the morning after I have washed and dried and flat ironed my hair at night, it looks like a total mess, even though I fixed it before I went to bed. 
after using this, the next morning I got up and my hair was not a crazy mess. So I actually did not have to do a whole lot of styling to my hair. So I am absolutely loving this product here. And I have noticed I've got it Walmart, I've got it at Walgreens, and Ulta sells it, and I want to say Target sells it as well. So I'm sure other retailers sell that brand as well. So that is what is in the middle compartment. We've got eyeshadow palettes, Q-tips, and cotton rounds. My Herbal Essence Curl Enhancer Mousse, Static Guard, and my Hask Shampoo and Conditioner. Now we are on the last side of my organizer. And I turned it around so that you could actually see this instead of me having to grab off screen. So we're going to start left to right like we have been. The first thing is something I'm pretty proud of. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this picture. Y'all, this is all of my makeup right here. Minus the eyeshadow and then minus my powder compact because my powder compact stays in my purse. But y'all, this is it right here. And I'm not going to go into what is in this little clear organizer because I want to say either August or September, I'm actually going to share all of the makeup that I use on a daily basis. So, and how I have it organized, which is super simple. So everything is right in here from my foundation to my bronzer, to my powder, to all of the um, corrector and concealer and lip products. All of that is right here in this little organizer. And my mom gave this to me in my stocking for Christmas. And when she gave it to me, I was like, what am I going to use that for? But now I know that all of my makeup can fit in here. This is the Clear Travel Cosmetic. I'm not sure if they even sell this anymore, but it was in my stocking and I absolutely love it. I like the little clear organizers. Okay, then I've got my hairbrush. This is still my favorite hairbrush. It is the finger brush, and I want to say it's the medium size one. Yes, it is the medium size hairbrush. I have been using this since I talked about it, I want to say two years ago. Absolutely love this brush, and I got this from Ulta. I don't know if anybody else sells it or not, but that's where I got it. Then a shower cap for those times that I might need to take a shower because where we are staying, there's three bathrooms and the one that's closest to us is just a shower. So I really needed a shower cap last year and I didn't take one. So I have one this year and y'all, this thing is probably 10 years old and I want to say it's Conair and I got it from Walmart. So that's that. My toothbrush, which is, I've talked about this. A lot of these products I've talked about already. This is my spin brush, and this little clip thing here is pretty cool. It is a, what do they call it? A Steropod. It is, it's got some kind of like Vicks vapor stuff inside of it that keeps all of the bacteria off of your toothbrush for up to three months. So there's actually an odor in it that you can smell once you take the um, clip off. They recommend you washing your toothbrush before you put it in here and after because you sure don't want that Vicks type of vapor stuff in your mouth. So I really like that. Then my Pond's Cold Cream that y'all have seen me talk about many, many times. So after my purity, I will use this to take any extra mascara and eyeliner off of my eyelids. And then I will end with the um, micellar water. And then we have my Suave 24-Hour Protection Invisible Solid Powder. So I absolutely love this too. This is the deodorant that I have been using for 10 plus years. And I never try something new because this is my favorite. And there's no sense trying a new one. Okay, and I noticed I was going through here and I'm like, where is my face lotion? I use this face lotion in the mornings and at nighttime. So it has not been put in this organizer yet. But this will be placed right here on top of my cold cream right there. And y'all, this, I will tell you this. Uh, I didn't mean to talk about this in this video, but I will mention this again in my July favorites. But while I'm talking about it, I am going to mention why I love this stuff. Okay, I bought this off of QVC in a two-pack set, 
two years ago and I'm finally getting to the end of the second one. Fixing to order a whole new one. Now this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It says use to hydrate dry, parched skin, relieve minor irritation due to eczema and other conditions for the face and elsewhere. Y'all, this is a face lotion, body lotion, that I plan on sticking with for my face. Let me explain why. Now, two weeks ago, probably about three by the time you're watching this, and I have posted about this, Philosophy, which is one of my favorite brands, so I'm not dissing Philosophy, but it is a Philosophy product. I tried, and I will pop up a picture here. I was trying to get rid of some like hairline and jawline acne. So I purchased their, um, I think it's Clear as Day, wash and lotion, okay? Read the reviews, great reviews. Okay, I'm going to try it. I liked every other philosophy product that I've tried. Two days, two days, I realized I was allergic to the, is it sacasilic acid? I think that's how you pronounce it. I may have just said that wrong. That both products contained, which was the main ingredient in the wash. Y'all, my face was red. If I put, I put some of this lotion on my face, it felt like that something was burning my face off. It became to where it was dry, just completely dry. I wanted to scratch my face the whole time. And then two days later, I developed these fluid pockets underneath my eyes. And it got all the way down to like my cheek area. It was horrible. And I looked it up, and I'm allergic to that acid that is in that product. I did not know that until that moment. So it's not philosophy's pro. It's not their... I don't blame them. I did not know that I was allergic to that type of acid that was in that product. So I still love philosophy. I still buy their products, but I know that I cannot buy that sac sacasilic acid anymore because I'm allergic to it. This saved my face. I'm telling you, I put this on day and night, and it really does exactly what it says. It, re it hydrates your skin and relieves minor irritations. And I can't tell you, I don't know what I would have done without this product here. So that is what I have on the last compartment here. And that, you guys, is how I have my makeup caddy organized for vacation. It seems that this is going to work very well for me, but I'm filming this before I go on vacation, so I'll make sure to update you guys and let you know how it worked out for me once I'm back from vacation. But I can tell you right now, it fits everything, and it's not heavy at all. It is made of very... It is made of great quality materials. The handles are very sturdy. I think it's going to work great. Now, if you are interested in anything that I've mentioned today, I will make sure to leave the links in the description below. Make sure that if you click a link and you make a purchase, I don't make a profit at all. It is for your benefit alone. And I have one other video that I will be sharing with you over traveling, and that will be over my traveling planner bag. So I want to show you what items that I took on vacation that are planner and personal related. So I hope you give this video a thumbs up, and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and until next time, bye you guys.